James 5 verse 14 through 16. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sin, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has good power as it is working. Do you know anyone who's ever experienced a miraculous emotional and physical healing? Illnesses can spark fears, worries, and suffering with individuals and also with families. Often we crumble under the pressures that sickness can bring. Diseases and sickness have been around since the fall of Adam. No matter where you look, it seems like there are pain and suffering everywhere. Especially this past year, with the global pandemic that got all of us in a panic. The good news is, God can heal all your disease. He heals up the brokenhearted and binds up the wound. Psalm 147 verse 3. Besides physical healing many of us would desperately need, we also need spiritual healing. This healing comes when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Jeremiah 17 verse 14. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. Isaiah 53 verse 5 But he was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Hosea 14 verse 4 I will heal the backsliding. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned away from him. If you are feeling overwhelmed with health problems, the Word of God can be your source of supernatural help. Do not stop praying. God promises greater things in store, a future filled with promise and hope. Today we are going to spend time focusing on Bible promisings about supernatural healing that God offers us every day in His goodness and love to His words. Confess this scripture over your loved ones and yourself. Remember that as you confess them, no weapon formed against you will prosper. Isaiah 54 verse 17 Let's begin. Exodus 15 verse 26 I will put none of the disease on you which I have put on the Egyptians, for I the Lord am your healer. Psalms 103 verse 3 Who pardons all your iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? Psalm 107 verse 20 He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Isaiah 53 verse 5 But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wound we are healed. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 For I will restore you to health, and I will heal you of your wounds, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 17 verse 14 Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are my praise. Proverbs 4 verse 20 to 22 My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your sight. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their body. Matthew 8 verse 8 But the centurion said, Lord, I am not worthy for you to come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. Matthew 9 verse 35 Jesus was going through all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every kind of disease and every kind of sickness. Luke 6 verse 19 And all the people were trying to touch him, for power was coming from him and healing them all. Hebrews 13 verse 8 Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. 3 John 1 verse 2 Beloved, I pray that in all aspects you may prosper and be in good health, just as your soul prospers. 1 Peter 2 verse 14 And he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might not die to sin and live to righteousness, for by his wound we were healed. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Philippians 2 verse 27 
For indeed he was sick near unto death, but God had mercy on him, and not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Let us pray. Father, we confess our need for you today. We need your healing and your grace. We need your hope restored. We need to be reminded that you work on behalf of those you love constantly, powerfully, completely. Lord, we ask that you forgive us for trying to fix our situation all on our own. Forgive us for running all different directions and spinning our wheels to find help when true help and healing must be found first in you. Father, forgive us for forgetting how much we need you above everyone and everything else. We come to you and bring you to the places we are hurting. You see where no one else is able to fully see or understand. You know the pain we have carried, the burdens, the cares. You know where we need you to be set free. We ask for your healing and grace to cover every broken place, every wound, every heartache. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you are able to do far more than we could ever imagine. Thank you for your mighty power that acts on behalf of your children. We reach out to you and know that you are restoring and redeeming every place of difficulties, every battle for your greater glory. Lord, we thank you that you will never waste our pain and suffering. We love you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.